this change your life? It was fascinating. It was amazing how it has changed my life. How? Well, I think, um, you know, after a couple of weeks, I had a clear mind. And all of a sudden, I I felt as though, you know, I was taking in the scenery, taking in uh, what's around me and uh, had stopped thinking about work and intricacies of, uh, of business and uh, just enjoyed myself. Well, David, you went, you're unwell. Yep. You have been well, well for some time with, with sort of recurrent glandular fever and everything that brings along, which people know all about that. Why did you go? Um, well, I was sort of at a bit of a crossroads. I was coming back to work after being sick and I wasn't really enjoying what I was doing at the time. Um, and Dad, Dad, sort of about 10 days before he left, um, uh, said... Plenty of warning. Yeah. A lot yeah. of warning. <laughs> said, would you like to come along with me? So... Uh, but that must have been daunting, given your health issues. It, it really was, but I kind of... I think I needed the challenge at the time, um, just, just for my own sort of mental satisfaction. And you described sort of walking along and suddenly realising I'm not sick. Yeah, it, it took, took about two and a half weeks where I was sort of really hesitant. Look, I thought every morning I was going to wake up and feel bad again. But um, after about yeah, two and a half weeks of the walk, I woke up and I just realised I, I felt fantastic and I felt really strong and I hadn't felt that way for years. So. How have you been yeah. since? I've been really good, actually. Um, yeah, it's been fantastic is for that, me. Is that coincidence or did you have the, the same sort of head clearing experience? Uh, it isn't coincidence. I, I did really have a big head clearing experience. Um, I sort of... Um, I guess stopped worrying about the world so much, worrying about, you know, what I was going to have to do next and, and sort of took day by day. Talking Melbourne.